Oh, absolutely, it's warranted. Uh, what you've got to remember is GE is owned roughly a third by retail investors, and now retail investors really have no reason to own this company. Um, it is not the GE of the past. The dividend has gone to almost zero. Uh, there's really no uh, expectation as to when that dividend can come back. The SEC and the DOJ have widened their accounting probe of, D of GE. Your in retail investors really should not be owning a name that uh, is under accounting investigation. And the company took an equity capital raise off the table. We think GE Capital is going to owe billions of dollars more in the future. It really should be able to, uh, it, it would be better if they could actually raise equity capital to plug a lot of these leaks. They took it off the table partly because we think you can't raise equity capital when you're under, under SEC investigation. So no, this is going to take a very, very long time to work through. So in your view, it wasn't that they didn't need the capital raise or they won't need the capital raise. It's that they will not be able to do the capital raise because of that investigation. A hundred percent. And, uh, you know, the SEC does not have to tell you how long their investigation is going to last. It, frankly, they can do anything they want. It could widen into many other areas. GE has evoked aggressive accounting for many years. And we're just starting to see, you know, the, the, the covers start to unravel here in terms of a lot of these different issues. So, no, there's, this is a real challenge. Larry Culp is an accomplished CEO. There's no question, but he's just one person. And as I said, this is going to take a very long time. All right, so a long time is one thing, but the things that you need to do in that long time span are also important as well, John, right? So let's talk about the, the, perhaps the bullish case. We've been talking so much about the downtrodden side of GE. Mm -hmm. What is it that GE, Larry Culp, need to do to get investors back into this stock, especially that one-third of them who are in the retail side of things? Well, it starts with establishing a credible base. And uh, the company, you know, basically did not give any update toward its guidance for cash flow, which has been uh, horrific, or its earnings power. Um, the, pro the power business, which is one of the primary segments, actually had 11 percent negative margins. Uh, the reality is they just probably don't know. Larry even suggested that, you know, power and aviation, the two principal businesses, were not his background. He's right now working through power. They still have to work through GE Capital. I think establishing a credible base is the first test of what you have to do from there. And then, you know, coming up with a plan that's plausible. Right now, we don't really even know what the plan is. Uh, the company is pursuing mm -hmm. the sale of its healthcare business and its ownership of Baker Hughes for reasons that seem obvious that they just need the money. But again, these are crown jewel assets. Why exactly are they pursuing this? So there's so many unanswered questions. It's very hard to establish that base while those questions are overhanging.